This patch is pretty simple, but very effective for creating evolving timbres. We're going to expand the tonal range of our wave folder by inserting a filter between our oscillator and wave folder. The filter I'm using is a bit of a secret, so I'm keeping it out of frame, but just know that it's a state variable filter and I'm using its bandpass output. The resonance on the filter is fairly high and I'm using our oscillator's square wave output. Its sharp edges will be great for exciting the filter. Without the wave folder, the filter sounds like this. The high resonance setting will allow us to get more out of the wave folder. I'm going to apply the bandpass output of our filter to the input of our wave folder. Now listen as I sweep the cutoff frequency. The amount of wavefolding is dependent on the amplitude of our input waveform, and the amplitude of the input waveform is dependent on the frequency of our oscillator, the cutoff frequency of our filter, and the resonance of our filter. By modulating all of these parameters, we can control the tone of the wavefolder in three distinct ways. We can add one more parameter by using an external mixer. Many wave folders have a bias control. This is simply a DC offset that is mixed in with the input waveform. It creates asymmetrical clipping and wave folding. So I'm going to use the bottom channel of mix 6 and mix a slow LFO with our input waveform. Listen to how it affects the timbre. You can also see how it affects our waveform by looking at our oscilloscope. Since we're using a bandpass filter, we've lost some of the bottom end and our sound is a little thin. To restore it, I'm going to take the sine wave output from our initial oscillator and mix it with the wave folder's output. And now I'm going to play a MIDI sequence so we can hear all of this in a musical context.
Now listen as I increase the amount of modulation on our filter. Listen to the continuously shifting timbre as we modulate all of the different parameters. The patch that we created for the melodic line is the same patch that we're going to use for the bass line. As you can hear, the oscillator is tuned lower and our envelope settings are different. I'm using an LFO to modulate the cutoff frequency of our filter. Now listen as I take that away. The difference is pretty significant. Now I'll increase the amount of modulation to make this effect more extreme. Our envelope is modulating the rate of our LFO. So whenever the envelope is on, our LFO speeds up. This creates this nice wobble effect. An LFO is also modulating the VCA on the output of the wave folder. This adds to the wobble effect. Now I'll turn the resonance all the way down. You can hear how much less life this sound has. Now I'll take away the sine wave so we can hear the output of the wave folder by itself. Now I'll bring the sine wave back in. I think this patch really shines when you use it for bass patches. You can get very dynamic timbres without a lot of modules, especially because a little modulation makes such a big impact.